You know, another another trend, Ed, that we have seen here recently is the loosening of uh, state laws regarding marijuana usage. The problem is that that puts some of those laws into conflict with federal laws on marijuana. Some action in the Congress this week in trying to deal with that bring us up to date. That's right. Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing to sort of discuss where federal and state uh Marijuana laws kind of are at issue uh, or are in conflict with each other. Washington State and Colorado, of course, have now legalized it in certain cases. Uh, and, and basically some, some folks from those states came to the Capitol Hill this week to say, look, if, if we're going to have these laws, we need you to make a few changes to how the federal government deals with the issue. The Justice Department announced late last month that they are basically going to allow these states to continue enforcing their new marijuana laws so long as they make sure that children aren't getting uh, their hands on the drug and uh, it's not being uh, sort of slipped across the border into other states. But there are a, a few sort of notable little issues that have to be sorted out, among other things. That apparently some of these marijuana companies can't get bank accounts because there are restrictions at the federal level on, on, on drug dealers or those that sell drugs legally being able to uh, open a bank account. So the Justice Department said they will look at that with an existing legislation. bunch of lawmakers, whether it's Patrick Leahy, who's the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, uh, others who have legal backgrounds have said, you know, we've got to find a way to pull back because so much of the prison population these days are people who, you know, for either minor or major drug offenses are there, and in many of those cases probably don't need to be. We've seen pullbacks in Virginia, New York, other states have been talking about it as well. It's the kind of substantive policy debate that would be interesting to have, but with all these other dis you know issues we've been discussing, of course, it gets pushed off, and it's one that a lot of Americans do worry about. Not not just because marijuana is a popular topic, but the, because they worry about it. The com the conflicts between the federal laws and and these two states are really interesting, and and there'll be it'll be really interesting to see how they settle it because it goes beyond banks. If you're the farmer who's growing the marijuana, you know you're a drug kingpin maybe under federal law, right? <clears throat> if you're the landlord <clears throat> where the store that's going to sell it, you know, you could be charged with racketeering and, you know, drug trafficking under federal law. So there's a lot more than just the bank account that uh, is complicated by these two different sets of, of laws.